Welcome back to the Lemon Tree in Aberdeen. Terrific atmosphere inside this venue tonight for the climax of the Tam Shootout Pool Grand Final. Callum Singleton brilliantly through and the first man into the last four. We need to find him an opponent in his semi-final, so let's do just that. Let's raise the roof for this guy. Not only has he worked tirelessly to get this event to happen, he set about making it his own with some brilliant play on the pool table once more. A semi-finalist in Newbury. Can he do, do it again or perhaps go one better? Introducing from Aberdeen, Mad Mac, Martin McIntosh. And standing in Martin's way is quite simply one of the toughest players around. Of seven town shootout events this year, he's won five of them. He is the top seed. He is the Welsh wizard. The work that's gone on all year to make these events happen and for the guys who've put it on at Orange Media Group Zach and Kev and Will and Martin himself who I mentioned in the intro for them to be rewarded with an atmosphere like this is, is absolutely brilliant yeah, I couldn't agree more there's a lot of hard work goes into these events we're seeing more and more Paul on live TV, bigger and bigger events, and this is something just that little bit different. 
their goal has always been to create an atmosphere like this and they must be feeling very proud tonight quite right too this is brilliant this is uh, this is showpiece stuff oh Shep doesn't normally miss those and as soon as it rattled you could see the kilt waltzing around the table Very surprising miss from Jordan Shepherd, but he hasn't been Jordan Shepherd in full flow this weekend or in recent times. He's going to get immediately a second opportunity as Martin misses a very tough opening plant. All the Reds are out the way, just has to negotiate the last three yellows they look fairly simple yeah, it was a strange group a strange group stage of Jordan Shepherd who has been the dominant force but it got to a point where he never really got going and he was scrambling just to get through it was all about getting through didn't matter about the group when just needed to be in the last day and as soon as he got into the quarterfinals he was the guy you would have wanted to fear in that draw Martin himself said that in the live draw he said I don't want to play Jordan well this is why because he's already two minutes in a frame to the good It will irritate Jordan Shepard that he needed two opportunities to get that frame on the board but the frame does go on the board and Martin will be also frustrated that he had an opportunity to get in amongst them themselves and he didn't manage to make that opening plant for Martin to win this match he needs to get off to a good start and he hasn't been able to do that in the opening frame we've seen in Jordan's previous matches this weekend he's under pressure once he gets a frame or two ahead, he seems to relax and play some better ball. It was a decent break from Martin. He's made a ball, but not the split you want you want something you can really attack and go at Martins have to play a safety shot red goes this is probably just taking the pocket just tying up that top right hand corner not a good table for either player well that is some pot hampered queuing really awkward and smashes, it, smashes it in you can play this yellow off the red to the top right. Still unlikely to open up the yellows. Well, he has. Excellent shot. Played it firm enough that the red would go in and dislodge those yellows and they've both been opened up. Right at the top of the table does go. There's enough room to land on that yellow. Well, wouldn't have wanted to be as close. This is far from straightforward.
can't really take on the yellow he's nearest to. It's going to be very hard to take this one to the left centre, then the one at the top, and then come back down. I'm not sure when he plays the yellow to the top right, he can avoid cannoning the red. If he can, it should track down the right-hand side, the right centre of the table, and then it's about pace control. Well, he did avoid oh, the red. Hello. That's fantastic. He'll take that all day. One good positional shot away from 1-1. One, one. I had a little think about it. And then this, it goes. This visit has been high quality. Well, he produces his very best, does Martin McIntosh, when he has no option but to do so. Against Jordan Shepherd, he has no option but to do so. And that was a brilliant clearance to haul himself level at 1 1. That was all off the back of a, a contained safety shot from Jordan Shepherd. Martin came to the table without a real, really a good opening pot on. He's managed to develop a couple of balls, travel the white all over the table, and still managed to get the finish. That really is. Brilliant stuff from Martin. And he's going to be straight back to the table here. Reds is his choice. It's about that cluster to the top right. Don't know whether the red nearest the pocket can be potted as a plant. If it can, then can he open it up whilst doing so? All a bit tight and congested up there. I think the overhead shows he probably can. Has to get a thin contact on the second red, which he's done. It's another excellent shot from Martin. Well, he's getting the run of the ball, but as the saying goes, you make your own luck. And he is producing some fabulous pots. And he's been rewarded with the, uh, the bounce of the cue ball. 30 second shot clock, remember. Halves at the halfway point to 15. It's another fine pot. Oh, he's queuing brilliantly. I think it's the best I've ever seen him queue. He looks to be in just perfect, confident mood. He's absolutely desperate for his run not to end. And if he keeps playing like this, it won't. Got a bit excited on that one. He's over. By a, a fair few inches. So plan B is this. Referee might want to be watching this. I think he's okay. I think there's just enough room. He's going to come around for a second look. Oh, absolutely fine. Nowhere near. How about this? He's in the zone. It's a Mad Mac purple patch. And McIntosh makes it back-to-back -back frames. G's himself up and the crowd. The high fives for a 2-1 lead. Back-to-back -back brilliant visits to the table for Martin McIntosh. Jordan Shepard 
does not look happy about that. Martin looks to be playing his absolute best ball here. Those finishes he's just taken out were not easy. Problems all over the table. And he's straight back in. And it's a decent looking spread. Just the starter he needs to think about. It might go yellows here, I think. Every ball on the table pots. Oh, he's going reds. Shows what I know. Oh, just. I thought that problem pocket was going to strike again. I think he did too. Yeah, I don't think he thought he'd hit that hard enough. The two reds at the top of the table, there is problems. The one nearest the pocket's not a problem. I don't think he can hold for the other one. Oh, he can. And if he waits this well, then it could well be frame over very swiftly. Yeah, compared to what he's just taken out the previous two frames, this is, this is simple. This pot isn't. But if this goes in and the position is found, it should be from there. And he has made the pot and found the position. He's in perfect shape. This could be back to back to back clearances for Martin McIntosh, really taking it to Jordan Shepard. Left himself right in the middle. Take your pick, whichever way he wants to go. Well, he's played better shots than that. He played that so that the final shot to get on the black would be easier. And the end result is that he can't pot it. And he's furious. Yeah, really poor positional shot that went on to that last ball. Did not want to have to play around with knocking that black. Wanted to just be able to land on it the black did go to the corner which is why when he left the white where he had he did I, I did wonder that he might take the other red first because all he had to do was stun it in I was really really where's Hello. the white where's the black oh well close but that's going to lose in the frame I was really surprised that Martin did go the order he went with the last two reds perfect position on the red he played for his last ball would have been fine but anything but perfect was potentially leaving it awkward well that's not the best shot that Jordan's ever played that's a really poor shot shot from Jordan he's put himself into a lot of trouble he could be playing a double off the black into the centre pocket or he could be just thinking about leaving the well, he needs white. to play something. Yeah, the white in the top corner of the table. He didn't it's want to play this. Didn't want to play it at all. Has he left it? If he hasn't left it, I don't think this can be cut back. And it's not the hardest up and down to pot this. Here we go, Martin. Big shot for 3-1. Oh, he's missed it. Two yellows together on the right hand side are forcing Jordan's hand here. Going for another snooker option. Hit and hope. That's what it is. Where's it going? Where's it going? Oh no! It was the hit and hope. And the hope was rewarded. McIntosh over the line. 
and he leads Jordan Shepard 3-1. Wow, it really was the hit and hope. Just getting that black in motion, hoping for something good to happen, and it has. It's always dangerous when you leave your opponent a one cushion escape, even if the black's not near a corner, not near a pocket. They can get the ball, they get the black moving, they've got a chance. change of gear here for Jordan Shepherd. yeah you saw it you saw the purpose 3-1 he was confident that he could just tactically get himself level 2-2 in the business end of that frame suddenly the match clock becomes an issue there's time plenty of it 13 and a half but he can't really afford to lose another frame No problems with this finish. Only the situation can affect him. Yeah, ignore the graphic. Jordan Shepard is obviously on reds. You can see he's making short shrift. Not on yellows as uh, the monitor displays. That's a very loose shot from Jordan Shepard. It's another one, isn't it? Oh. Oh, unlucky. Thought he pulled something out of the bag there. That's a, a very surprising visit to the table. I thought Jordan would just take a very little time in clearing those up. Well, for a moment there, I think Martin still thought he was on the 30-second shot clock, didn't he? Yeah. He tried to use it all and then suddenly heard the tick-tock. The beeps come in with five seconds to go. Martin was too busy celebrating when we ticked over to the 15 second a shot part of the match. There's some adrenaline in that shot as well. We're not done here yet, you know. Good shot. Oh dear. Just rolling from problem to problem. And this is not an easy shot to get safe. Remember, needs to hit a cushion, so he can't just roll behind the yellow. He's playing the pot. And that's probably going to be end of frame. How quick was Jordan Shepard at the table there? And used all of the pocket to keep the white. Straight on the black into the corner. 3-2, just like that. These matches. time to make it out of the group stages all the way to the final in Manchester not in Aberdeen tonight so 10 minutes 3-2 this is anyone's where's the white wall the white was on its way in the cannon kept it out it's a massive break he really has got some adrenaline going he's really getting through that cue ball beautifully big shot this opening one well, he's going to go for reds. And it's a very loose opening shot. He rushed that one. Shot clock was against him. Shepard fast out of the blocks again. He'll fancy going 3-3 three, three here and then it's ball in his hand next. Only problem Jordan has to work out is the black. He'll nudge into it here. That'll do. Slightly hampered queuing for his next pot. The positional side of the pot is not easy.
This time it's Jordan Shepard that was rushed. And he did get the white across to the right-hand side of the table, and that yellow just looked like a, a beach ball for him. Wow. Incredible skill shot from Jordan Shepard. Completely blind pocket. He's going to need another big shot. Oh, he's got it. Where's the white going, though? Oh, he's asked it to stop. It has stopped. Tricky shot, but it's on. Rolls it in. That's brilliant. That is brilliant for the Welsh Wizard. 3-3. Three, three. What a match. Hard to believe what we're watching here. Jordan Shepard put himself in all sorts of trouble. Two unbelievable shots on the trot to get himself that frame. Hard to believe with what we've seen over the past 20 minutes or so that Martin McIntosh is not leading this match. Well, a massive spread and nothing down. Martin will come to the table thinking they're all there for me. These are all there for him. He's got to take the reds on the right-hand side in the right order. He's run out of position again. This is an in or over shot. If he makes it, he should make the clearance. If he doesn't, he's going to block the black. Oh. The red stays on the table, but Martin's still a favourite for this frame. These yellows are not laid out nicely for Jordan Shepard. And, of course, the black nicely tied up. Although the skill shot would be an option, it's hard for him to get that far. So the safety option for Jordan. Ties up one of Martin's reds. Feels like a decider, this. Still six minutes on the clock, but it does have that feel. There's mileage in this frame, though, the way these are laid out. There's Jordan thinking aggressively. Can he screw back into the black? I think that's what he's looking at. Really tough plant he's left himself. The problem with the plant as well, the yellow that he's hitting is going to go away from the pocket and the white isn't. Hard to be on your next ball. That's why he's played it so firm. Can't watch, Martin. Oh, he's finally missed one. And now, Martin, your chance. Crowd pretty much all behind Martin, local boy. Come on, Martin, Martin, come on. Can he hold his nerve? He's played some loose positional shots, so I'm not predicting anything here. Not this time. This time he's perfect. Save the best till almost last.
McIntosh nudges back ahead. 4-3 with four minutes to go. He's a frame away from a home semi-final here in Aberdeen in the grand finals of this town shootout series. What a match. Jordan Shepard's going to have about three and a half minutes to try and rescue the situation. If he finds a quick clearance, we could be going to a black ball shootout rather than a deciding frame. Martin, he'd just like to make a ball, control this table. He'd love an easy chance, but he'd take a ball. And he's come up dry. Or has he? Jordan Shepard thought he'd come up dry, but he hasn't. He's made a red. Well, he can now take every single one of those 15 seconds a shot. Knowing that there are enough balls there for him to see out the match. So long as he doesn't miss, of course. Oh, he has oh, missed. Dear. My apologies. How many times? Wow, that's... Oh, that's poor, and Martin knows it. He just had to make... It was a simple pot. It just has to control the table. As you say, take your time. The clearance was there for him, but if he doesn't get the clearance, then so be it. He wins the match anyway. There's time now. Two minutes, 20 seconds left on the clock. Jordan Shepard, these reds are in the open. What drama here at the Lemon Tree in Aberdeen. Semi-final two of the town shootout grand finals. Quarter-final two, I beg your pardon. This isn't done yet, though, is it? Oh, he suck it past the yellow. We're going the distance. Into that middle back. 4-4, Shepard stays alive. McIntosh will be kicking himself. He was at the table. He could have run the clock down. He missed. Shepard pounced. And it's 4-4. For all the good pull that Martin McIntosh has played in this match, he will be thinking about that last shot he's just played. A simple pot to the corner. Well, he can think about it later tonight. If he thinks about it now, then he's going to lose the match. Oh, I completely agree. He needs to forget the mistake he's just played, made. We've got a minute. Jordan's made a couple of balls. This is going to be quick fire stuff. Jordan is chasing this finish. Never seen him move so quick. Always oh, missed. Can Martin find something? Surely there isn't enough time now. There is just enough time. These are so simple. Crowd are absolutely loving this. Three yellows and a black. 30 seconds. Never seen drama like it in this time shootout. The home favourite, Martin McIntosh, an Aberdeen boy. 20 seconds to pot three balls and knock out the top seed. He still needs to get a move on. It's in. He's got to pot the black. Oh, and he's missed. Oh, no, and it's a, it's a black ball sudden death shootout. Oh, what drama, what Martin, drama. Martin thought he got to the stage where he had enough time to take his time on that tough pot to the top left. He took his time and it was too long and had to rush the black. I thought Martin had done it. He said, saying he thought he had five seconds. Well, incredible stuff. Can't really catch our breath, but we are going to have to. We're into a black ball shootout. So they'll lag. Looks like Jordan's won that, has he? Jordan's just won the lag. So it's a bit like a penalty shootout in football. 
five pots apiece, five attempts at a pot apiece. If the scores are tied after five, we go to a sudden death situation. And it is a spot to spot. The black on the black spot, the white on the centre of the string line at the top of the table. In from McIntosh. Pressure, real pressure on Jordan Shepherd. Oh, and he makes it too. Sudden death pool at its finest. These pots from the spots are really difficult. And these guys are making it look simple. Can he do it again? Yes, he can. Yes, he can. Some real nerves shown from Martin McIntosh. Can Jordan respond? Of course he can. Four perfect black balls. Where will this end? Oh, no mistake. Three in a row for Martin. They've all got in the centre of the bag. He wants this badly. Well, where is this going to end? Back to you, Jordan. Both players are just ex showing exceptional bottle. Dramatic sudden death pull. I hope no one's got any dinner reservations in Aberdeen tonight because we're going to be here at midnight. Straight in the heart of the back from Jordan. <laughs> Three apiece. Who will blink first? Sure, why he's got up off the shot. Nothing's moved, nothing's changed. Can only be jitters. He's not looked like missing in three with the pressure growing. He's overcut it. First mistake from Martin. Something got to him on that shot. That's why he walked around the table. He wasn't as comfortable as he was on the previous ones and. The miss follows. He knows that might be it. Advantage, Shepherd. Straight in the heart of the bag. Sudden death shootout. 
goes to black ball number eight. And it's the Welsh wizard, Jordan Shepherd, who wins an absolute town shootout classic. Shepherd just is into the semi-finals and quarter-final three is after the break.